Recently I made this radio frequency uh, synthesizer uh, based on the ADF4351 chip uh, which can generate from 35 megahertz up to 4.4 gigahertz and testing it with an oscilloscope I realized that we really needed uh, a spectrum analyzer to, uh, to be able to see the higher frequencies. Now I don't have uh, hundreds or even thousands of, uh, uh, of euros, dollars to, to, to spend on a spectrum analyzer but uh, doing some research I came across this and it cannot be any more cheap and cheerful. These are less than $15 and what it is um, is a DAB radio, FM radio, um, DVB-T television receiver. The heart of this thing is a Realtek chip called the RTL2832. Some very clever people have, uh, have realized that you can use this obviously as a software defined radio. People have written software for it that will enable it to be used as a spectrum analyzer. Let's get this put together and uh, we'll see how useful it can be. The main website for these devices is rtlsdr.com and uh, as always links in the in the description and I was amazed by all the software that uh, um, is is available for this device it's um, absolutely incredible and somewhat overwhelming uh, but recently on their website they have focused upon this SDR sharp um, application uh, so that's what we're going to install and uh, take a look at. Here we can see the quick start guide for the installation of the SDR Sharp and it's a very comprehensive guide. It takes you through everything that you're going to, to need. Um, as we can see I've already downloaded the required software. So as it says we need to double click on the install. Next we need to plug the dongle in and run this ZA dig.exe and this must be run as administrator. That appears to be successful. Open shop SDR shop .exe. and we need to select obviously this interface here. Let's take a quick look now at the spectrum analyzer function using my LoRa antenna attached to the uh, frequency synthesizer. I'm going to set the frequency synthesizer to 868 and as we can see on the RTL SDR that's set to 868 as, as well. Uh, I'm at the moment just using the, the standard the standard wideband antenna that comes with the unit. Um, I will be changing that out, changing the connector on the unit for either a, an SMA or a BNC. Haven't quite decided that yet. Um, but let's uh, let's see what uh, we can do. So firstly, using my programmed functions. Here we can see it's set to 868 and uh, a whole bunch of stuff on the screen there. You can see the, the carrier in the, in the center. Now, 
previously um, we turned the gain right up and now we're going to turn the gain right down because it's very easy to saturate the input of the of the SDR dongle so we'd want to concentrate just on that so we can see that it's uh, offset from our 868 uh, this is not entirely surprising um, this is not calibrated in any way obviously there's oscillators in the frequency synthesizer and in the dongle itself let's just see if we can match it up so this is where our carrier is going to be and if we zoom in a little on that we can see it clearly there if we just momentarily turn the gain up a little you can see this jitter either side of the of the main uh, carrier now that is just an artifact of the uh, of the phase noise or or jitter we don't need to concern ourselves with it let's just put that gain down again and if we turn on the sound as we move the frequency closer we can hear the, the tone there so that gets rather annoying after a little while so I'll switch that off again but uh, you can hear that so this is accurate enough for the purposes for which I want to use it. I'm only really interested in the fact that this is uh, an 868 megahertz antenna and uh, not anything else as it's supplied with a LoRa board. It may have accidentally been sent a, a 433 megahertz that we can test that using this uh, very simple setup. And finally, if uh, anybody's ever wondered what a LoRa spread spectrum output looks like, or even sounds like, yeah, there you go.